Christopher with the Clean Window Club. And today I'm going to talk to you about the products and tools you're going to want and need in order to clean windows successfully. First thing I'm going to start with is the, the bucket. I prefer to have this, this big five gallon bucket that allows me to use my mop, dip my mop easily. Uh, these, these buckets are more expensive than these five gallon buckets. A lot of guys like to use these five gallon buckets because they're cheap. They're five bucks and they cut, you can get a lid with them. You can transport your water really easily. You can get a lid for these as well. They're just more expensive, but I, I prefer these because I can easily dip my mop in it. That's why uh, I want to talk to you what I always have in my bucket when I go out to clean windows. First is dish soap. Any dish soap will work, but I prefer Dawn. I don't like to use the ultra concentrated because it's easy to put too much soap in your water, so I just get regular Dawn dish soap. I get this little bottle at the dollar store too, which is sweet because it, it has just the right amount of soap with me. I don't ever have to go back to my truck to get soap. I have it with me at all, the, all the time. The other thing I like to have with me in my bucket is Lysol. When you come across those, waters, those windows that need hard water removal, I just have this little bottle. I got this at the dollar store as well. You want to make sure you use Lysol Power. If you, I have this in my bucket. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's always with me. I don't have to go look for it when I need it. You could also get a, a canister like this. This holds, you could put two different products in here. Put your soap in here, your Lysol in here and have a two-in-one container. It's convenient. but. You know, I just got, I got these. This costs you like five bucks if you want it. The other thing I like to have in here is a little sponge. When you got a lot of dirty water, you got, you, this saves you a lot of towels. You can use this sponge to soak up the water you leave on window sills or in window tracks and you don't burn through your t towels as quickly. And in the summertime, this is a must have. This is lubrication for the glass, your squeegee. It makes the squeegee glide and it slows the evaporation of the water on the glass. And it's just really convenient to have. I highly recommend it. Okay, so that's what I have in my, you know, usually I keep this in my car. I just, I add a, a cap full is enough for three to four gallons worth of, that's all you need to lubricate your water. So it's economical and it works great. Okay, so that's what I have in my bucket. Now I'll talk about what I have in my bag. And we're going to be going over uh, in depth about these products a lot more, these tools. But for now, I just want to show you what I, what I have with my bag. I got this belt, the Home Depot. You can buy every window cleaning brand like Ettore, Sorbo, Unger. They make their own belts and they have loops in them. But I just like the way this, this belt fits. A lot of times you get those belts that have... Uh, slip connections and they, they're always slipping. I'm always having to readjust them. This I don't ever have to re about, worry about readjusting. This is called a bucket on a belt. And this is really convenient. You put your, your mop in here. Put a little bit of water here in your, in, your, in your bucket if you have to get up on the roof and do 10, 15 windows. You can put enough water in here to tide you over. So this is essential to have. This is your window cleaning mop. They come in several different sizes. I prefer the 18 because it holds the most water and it can clean almost every window. Every once in a while you get a window that's too big for this. You can just turn the mop sideways and get what you have to do. So, uh, and they make these in all kinds of different mop covers. This is an abrasive one, which I like. And then this, this, this has three different holsters for my squeegees, which I like. I, I don't always, I don't usually carry three squeegees with me, but it's nice to have it if you need them. This is my, this is my baby. I love this squeegee. It's a 14 inch squeegee that's been filed down on the ends to be like a 13 inch squeegee. Then you have your uh, 18 inch squeegee, which is great for sliding glass doors or the big windows you come across. And a zero degree. And I'll talk about all these how these work in a later video, like I said, but the zero degree, once you learn how to use this, it's essential and you'll use this on every project. So 
highly recommended that you get a zero degree and learn how to use it. All right, so this is what I have in my bag. This is a this is a actually made by a window cleaning company. You could get just a construction bag. There's several different bags out there. I like this one just because it was made with the window cleaner in mind. I have several different pouches in here, which is convenient. So I have a screwdriver, which I use to pull off the screens, which fits right here in my bag, nice and convenient. Make sure it's a flathead screwdriver. Then I have a track cleaner, it's a little brush, cleans out your tracks. Very handy tool when you got a bunch of dirt and grime in people's tracks, you can clean that out before you start to clean the window. This little thing is sweet. It's a carabiner and I've put some hair ties on it. I've had a lot of different things in the past, little clips to hold my towels. I've had loops in my belt to hold my towels. They always tip, they always fall out. I'm always looking for towels. But with this hair clip or these hair ties and this carabiner, I can slide my towels through these hair ties and they never come off. They're always, they always stay. And I just, I just clip that onto my belt in the back. It's a, it's a cool idea. It works better than anything I've found. I put that on the back of my belt and I'm good to go. Well, I'm back here. I forgot to tell you about a squeegee. It's called the Ledger. I use this to clean the ledges with this little small squeegee. Super convenient to have. It saves your, uh, when you're cleaning industrial or commercial projects and you got ledges that are three feet or three inches wide, trying to mop up all that water. You don't want to use your regular squeegee because a lot of times those ledges will have concrete debris or masonry on them and you'll nick your squeegee blade. But if you've got a small one like this, you can clean up those ledges really easily. So I highly recommend having a little two inch, three inch squeegee. Then the water key, this has four different uh, sizes. It's recommended that you get a water key that has all four sizes. They make them that just have one size, but uh, there's often, you need one size to open up the, uh, on, on commercial buildings, there's no way to access the water unless they, they're locked. And so you have to use this key to open them up. And I just keep this in the back of my pouch. So I have it with me at all times when I need it. I don't have to go look for a water key. Uh, ultra fine steel wool and this is important it needs to be ultra fine it says here on your bag quadruple lot I'll say it one more time it needs to be ultra fine otherwise you'll scratch the hell out of glass and it's this is what touch up any glitches you leave on the glass as long as you keep it dry it's it's an awesome product you just got to make sure you don't use this on uh, glass that is low E or tinted or you'll scratch it badly. And I just keep this in my pouch, keeps it right here, keep it dry, nice and convenient. This is a doodle bug. You put this on the end of your pole. This is really, this is much more abrasive than my mop. Uh, I like the, this tip that I could, I could put this on the end of either one of my poles. This is a screw top, so in order to, uh, I can avoid having to have a screw top by just putting that over the top. Same with this one. This is great for exterior window cleaning. When you got windows that haven't been cleaned in a long time, I, I just have this in my bucket with me. Uh, also, two poles. Why two poles? One to put the water on and one to take the water off. That way you don't have to interchange these. You're just ready to go. You put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. This is a sub Saboral pole and an Ettore pole. I like them both. If I were to have to give choose one, I would choose the Ettore because it's just a little bit more solid. This thing gets bent and it's hard to take in and out. This pole is, but it is, I like the way it feels better than this, that array. 
Okay, uh, next is towels. Uh, a lot of guys like these microfiber towels. I love them too. I use them to clean up the, uh, the water I leave behind because I can rinse them out really easily. Then I have these cotton towels. I use this to touch up the glass. Uh, I usually have three or four with me on every job. And then last but not least here is uh, your razor blade. I have two different sizes. I have a little two inch razor blade that I use to nick off the, the paint that I come across. And then this is for the hard water and bigger projects. This is a six inch blade. And I have this holster, which is really convenient because you can take in the Taking the cap on and off this holster is really inconvenient or off this blade and reaching for it all the time. But with this holster and you're doing, you know, you're doing a lot of windows that need uh, blade work. You can leave that cap off, put this on the side of your belt and it's always right there. Really convenient. And you can access it quickly. And one last thing I put in my bag is this little two inch channel. When I come across those really tiny windows in a, in a door or some French panes I wasn't expecting, it's nice to have this and you can easily interchange change this. It's nice to have this when you need it so you're not trying to towel a window. And I just put this in my bag so I always have it. Okay, that's what you're going to need in your kit to clean windows professionally. Thank you.